Good morning, my fellow subscribers in the grant community. I greet you all in the most benefiting greeting, and I say may the peace and the mercy and the blessings of our Lord be upon us all. I come your way this morning to give a little report about what has gone down and what is still going on and then the development we are expecting and how we are following and how we are not going to stop following like as i told you last time in our meeting that um all what they want us to do is to give up they just want to see us back to our hiding place you know one thing about them um, those um, rich people as in those people in the system they want to demoralize you they want to reduce you to nothing they want to destroy your brain with poverty that um, you will not be able to see beyond your afternoon shadow you will not see beyond your afternoon shadow all you can see is just a space around your feet or space around your nose they want to reduce you to zero you know how when hunger beat you when poverty rain on your head when poverty destroyed your brain everything that you have to think about concerning your life is food how to survive a day how to eat how to survive a morning not even a day how to survive morning then like now it has people have been saying it that um, they say maybe how you go take it this morning you talk about it in the night or you go to talk about tomorrow so that is the way they want you to be feeling and then um, this will never go well with us it will never go well with us if not we are destroying this nation if we allow this principle to work for them it has been working anyway but it is time for us to pick our pieces and fight it has been working if all the youth all the youth of this country what they can only think of is not even how to put on clothes not how to marry not how to build house not how to or the kind of car you should buy, or what is your budget or your plan towards next one year, next two years. All you can think about is how to survive today's morning, how to survive tomorrow, how to eat. That is what you can. That means there is. That means Africa still deserves to die, like as the Europeans or the whites are seeing it. You know, they are on the mission to reduce the population of Africa because Africa is not helping the globe at all. Africa is creating problem. To the globe by their population and unproductive onto unproductive brain so you can see what we are facing so and then um, in grant community i'm sorry this one is going to be a little bit lengthy in grant community such thing is happening now they say that um, the money has been slashed this one talking to all the although about all now rumor all is rumor we don't know where we are going and we don't know how far it is concerning that slashing or whatever but we pray that them is not slashed we pray that it's not slashed i have some people have started saying that um, even if now five hundred thousand naira, made them bring them made the city done this bus all those things you know why because you cannot reason beyond your nose anymore you cannot see beyond your afternoon shadow, your shortest shadow anymore. All you can think of is how to survive a day. They say money is coming for elevation, is coming for liberation, is coming for empowerment, and you are talking about feeding money. Although may God help us not be that place that they go. I want us to know that um we will not give up and those so-called uaag board of direct or board of whatever they call themselves my name is Ustaz Daoud from all grand pressure group we are not so much interested in the people that thinks that all they have to do is to punish the masses is to subject the masses to a sorrow as in sorrowful death or painful death or a slow death we don't respect people that does so even if we cannot fight them we don't have single respect for them and whenever we are addressing their matter we don't address it with respect with humility no 
we address it as if we are addressing animals. So, um, concerning this, today we met together. There's one thing that makes Grant Community special, special than um, whatever. Let me just summarize it in this way: one, one Grant Community is one Nigeria. You know, when it comes to regional thing, the areas as in the houses, or the full and needs, even the, if in fact even in the regional thing. There's house as there's full and needs, and everybody has their own way of doing their thing. When you come to the West, there is um oh dua stuff and um whether OPC stuff and something of that nature. When you come to Southeast, there is agitation for uh, um this um I think iPod or whatever. When you come to South South, there is this um militant and the rest of um something of that nature. So I don't think I don't know much about the middle bit anyway. Although that is where I come from. I don't know what we are agitating for or what we know what we are known by. So except hunger. So aside from that, everybody has a direction where they follow. Every nation has a direction where they follow. When it comes to politics, everybody has who they want to work with. When it comes to region, everybody knows where they came from. But in grand community, it's just one nation. It's one Nigeria. Today in our meeting, we have the South Southerners. Even the South Southerners, we have every group of people, all the nation, all the communities inside the South Sound. We have them. We have the Easterners. And the communities inside the East, we have them. We have the Northerners. And the communities... The nation inside the north, we have them as well. We have the middle bed, we have the westerners. And not just one person from one, one zone or one place or one community. We have them plenty. And we came together, we reasoned together. And we decided to give our voice to support UAAG. I want the UAAG management to know that this voice that stand with you today can turn against you tomorrow is one nigeria against evil nigerians but now we cannot say you people are evil now yesterday we came out we laid the blames it's a wake-up call we put the blames on apostle ken and uaag but apostle ken have come came out and he clear himself and he make him stand he stand known and many of us tend to understand him where he's coming from and yet our investigations keep on pointing the same finger that uaag we know the names of those people we are talking about we know details or we have more information about them but we still prefer to be calling them uaag now document is in the possession of uaag and for the fact that they are afraid of handling it over to Apostle Ken doesn't mean that they cannot call him, work together, and make this boss may happen while they keep their document. I remember during the time of Telpicon, when we fight, 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 fight for money, time later come, we start fighting for telescopy. At the end of the day, we later saw something, they call telescopy, that is how it ends. We are not fighting for documents. In Tilburg Group Foundation, what do you fight for money? What fight for money? We later start fight, fighting for mandate. Who owns the mandate? Who owns the mandate? That is how Chibat Foundation, that although their ghost is still walking around, that um, they still have the mandate. That is not where we are going. But I want you to, I want everyone of us to know that in UAAG, it don't, it's not document that we want anymore, it's disbursement that we want. However, they can manage the document. They can do whatever they want to do with the document. Let them use it to help Apostle Ken to disburse this money within this short period, as in before the transition. Those people can do it. In fact, as I'm talking to you now, it can happen this today. It can happen tomorrow. Since the government have handed it over, for goodness sake. Although we have 
given you our support and we have respected you people enough and we are still with you people and we are still willing because we are willing to give everything to support disbursement but i want us to know that um in grant community we don't have permanent friend and we don't have permanent enemy in fact i can go back to tuba global foundation and I, I will start begging them now to disburse to my people the grant community if they have the money will do and no fee say god no go allow that to happen but i know say they don't get money god, god no be god will they make a mistake and he know where to bring blessings from and blessings cannot come blessings cannot come from tuba global foundation although let me not say that as let me not say that because even pharaoh moses grew up in the house of pharaoh moses did not just grow up in the house of pharaoh he grew up as a as a prince as a son to pharaoh and he was treated as in number one treatment is what they gave to him so real treatment so blessings came from that place but that is how god designs it and then um, as i'm talking to you now there is um, some hungry people yesterday they were black as i as i'm black now that is the way they were black yesterday now their skin have started peeling as they bleach over bleach because they worry them in fact they have started smelling and their skin don't peel finish this same person i'm talking about stole church money yesterday a pastor took him accommodated him and help him out yet at the end of the day he later stole the church money and ran away so and now tubert global foundation have finally blessed them with color and house and them um, car and married women some of them i learned that they are pastor's wife self. so no big deal we are good that is not where we are going though no, no, they can call that one blessings but it's not a blessings at all so uaag please i we are still begging do the needful before the one nation one nigeria because see if politician can do divide and rule if another person can do divide and rule in this grant activities divide and rule pattern is not working that much it's not going to be effective for long because we are all one hungry nation so today we are supporting you people and we are willing to take fight to anywhere that is stopping you people from disbursement make it happen make this nigeria get rest make it happen make it make we get rest even if we know no, make it just happen at least make this disbursement happen we are not evil nation we are not nation of haba for goodness sake so let me leave this one here because i'm talking like this because i'm starting seeing hope light but i don't want to be deceived again because if what happened last time continue happening repeating itself they are about to call they will call soon they prepare yourself in the next two hours come within these two days come and first thing monday in fact on saturday you can still be called all this and that we will call you we'll send you all this and that i beg i beg this drama this swim trick don't reach make it stop i beg i thank you people for being there for us you people have fought we know you people are facing threat we know you people have seen a lot we know and you people are still afraid we know but fear no go make you survive a day in this kind of community please if you want to do for god do for god if you are a muslim you know that god is number one if you are a christian know that your sacrifice for god is number one in islam many people make sacrifice to please their god and liberate the human society the same thing happened in christianity and jesus is a good example of what i'm saying so please unnecessary fear will not help us and nothing is going to happen to you i swear to god nothing is going to happen to anybody that want to help this nation the prayer of this nation will never go down in vain and the lives that you have saved the reward of the life that you have saved will turn out to be your security and you will live longer and you will be a living legend and everybody will be talking about you
please uaag help us and let us be free from this chain of poverty it's worse than being a slave thank you my name is sister daoud of all grand pressure group of nigeria